In this video, we explain the relationship between the Helmholtz energy and work. Right in prior videos, we have seen the definition of the Helmholtz energy and how it can be used as a criterion for spontaneity uh, when working under uh, conditions of constant temperature and constant volume. All right, so aside from that uh, usefulness in determining the spontaneity of a process, it turns out that the Helmholtz energy is also connected to work, which is uh, a very useful concept in thermodynamics. All right, let's see how. Let's begin with the definition of the Helmholtz energy, which is just the internal energy minus uh, the product of the temperature and the entropy. Now let's take uh, an infinitesimal change that is going to be reversible and isothermal. Those are the conditions. Okay, so reversible and isothermal. Well, uh, under reversible isothermal conditions, so what we'll have is that this is equal to uh, differential of uh, A, that's the infinitesimal change, differential of U. Uh, if it's isothermal, then this turns into uh, T differential of S. Again, notice that the reversibility of the process here is not obvious yet. Okay, but in going from this step to that step, we have assumed that the process is isothermal. All right, so now what we're going to do is take the uh, definition of the first law of thermodynamics, right? We know uh, how uh, the internal energy is related to the heat and the work uh, transfer in a given process. And again, under reversible conditions, what we can say is that differential of A is going to be the uh, change, actually the heat evolved under reversible conditions, uh, and the work evolved under reversible conditions minus T differential of S. Okay, so the only thing that we've done in going from that step to this step is simply just plug in the first law and then uh, make sure that we're uh, under reversible conditions. Okay, great. So uh, the question is whether uh, this can be uh, uh, consolidated a little bit. It turns out that there should be something that is ringing a bell right here because these two things are related to each other if we think about uh, the knowledge that we gained when talking about the second law. As a matter of fact, the thermodynamic definition of entropy was this. The change in entropy is equal to Q ref over T. Right? So notice that Q ref then is equal to T differential of S, which is exactly what we have here. Right? So using that knowledge from the second law, we arrive at the following expression. This is the Q ref plus the work ref. Uh, minus uh, D Q ref, where I've forgotten uh, to use here the uh, differentials. Okay, so all this is differential expression, and all of that is a differential expression. So again, notice that those are all differentials, all right, and that's uh, what we have uh, right here. Great, so obviously, this uh, 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 hits have evolved from the reversible conditions cancel each other out, and what you have left over is a very nice relationship between uh, the uh, Helmholtz energy and the reversible work. Notice that now if you, if you integrate, that is going to turn into the change in Helmholtz energy uh, is equal to the reversible work, Okay, which is very nice. Now, there was an important qu uh, quality of uh, the reversible work, and that is that is the maximum work uh, that you can get out of a process. Okay, so uh, remember that, that that's always, always applies, right? So we can actually uh, further uh, rewrite that expression as uh, simply this. Because in a reversible process, you always uh, do uh, maximum work. Uh, all right, so that's actually a very nice definition between the Helmholtz energy and work. Uh, so uh, let's summarize what we've done uh, here in this video. What we've done is simply starting from the Helmholtz energy, we actually have seen that it's very easy to build a connection to work. And as it turns out, uh, for a reversible process, we can clearly demonstrate that the change in uh, Helmholtz energy is equal to the maximum work that you can get out of a process.